what's up chosen ones welcome back to another video you guys such a beautiful day outside you know make sure you guys are staying very hydrated and drinking lots of alkaline water it's very good for you guys look check this out i wasn't gonna make this video but since someone asked me to make this video i decided to go ahead and drop this video for you guys today it's funny because Nobody ever wants to hear the truth. Nobody wants to hear the truth at all, but everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to be happy, but you got to let the truth in. Let love guide you, okay? So I wasn't going to make this video because who wants to hear about, I don't want to smoke, I mean that you got to stop smoking weed, you know? I'm not saying that you got to stop smoking weed, but who wants to hear the truth about smoking marijuana? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I didn't. I know I didn't. I smoked weed for over 14 years. I thought it was a part of being spiritual. It definitely helped me connect in with myself, but it also came with a lot of downfalls as well. So that's what this video is about. So for the requested person, here's your video today, okay? And I hope this video gets out to millions of other people because it's just the truth, you guys. So I wanna to talk to you about the truth about marijuana and why you may consider on quitting or slowing down or whatever you prefer, okay? First of all, you know, in the whenever, you were in the 3D and uh, you were sending, marijuana does help you ascend up to 4D. So that's that's one thing I wanna tell you because everything is energy, right? So if everything is energy, then uh, marijuana has energy on it, okay? And she vibrates at a 4D level. So to all you guys who wanna keep smoking your weed <laughs> and staying high, well, go for it. You'll just stay in the 4D, okay? Unless you are smoking sometimes and not a lot, that you may be fluctuating 4D, 5D, depending on what type of who who you are and um, where your energy is. But marijuana vibrates on a 4D level. That's why I chose to stop because I want when I I want it all. I want my highest path. I want to live in the fifth. I wanted to live in the fifth dimension. I didn't want to stay in 4D. Okay, you probably see all the time many people are fluctuating from 40, 5D, 40, 5D because of certain things that they consume and put inside their bodies that is causing their energy level to be at a lower level. So good news for you guys. You don't have to stop smoking weed. It just all depends on where you want to be at on your journey. Okay, for me, there was a lot of side effects to marijuana. Marijuana worked for me for a while. Then after a while, I didn't even get high no more. I noticed the weed wasn't even good no more. And then on top of that, you guys, they are tampering and touching all types of uh, drugs. Now they're um, adding all types of chemicals. And what is it called? La la la. Uh, starts with the F starts with the F, I can't think of it right now, but uh, they're adding all type of uh, things to drugs and weed and stuff like that. So make sure that you are uh, <laughs> know how you feel. They're lacing it. They're lacing weed because they want to stretch it out. <laughs> and some people are lacing because it's not that good. So they want to lace it up so they can uh, make more money off of it. Still adding stuff that still gets you high or whatever. So you got to be careful. This is the end of time, you know what I'm saying? When a lot of things are going on that you're probably not aware of. So just because you were doing something that worked for you for a very long time doesn't mean that you can keep doing those things. Again, it's all about where you wanna be with it. You know what I'm saying? So if you are someone who wants to join us on 5D, then you have to let go of attachments of certain things. Marijuana is highly addictive. It causes a lot of psychosis. It also causes you to get the munchies. It also causes memory loss. I didn't believe none of that, but I experienced it uh, because once I stopped, I realized how much I can remember things. I realized how much I was overeating and why I had picked up so much weight. I, marijuana is also a social drug for me. So I always, I, you connect with a lot of people when you smoke weed, you start to connect with all types of people. So it, it's uh, very challenging for you to learn to be alone whenever it's needed, you guys. Also, uh, marijuana, um, of course, is smoke, and you, you know, putting smoke in your body is not good for your lungs all the time. And also, um, the tobacco from the cigar, you know, if you smoke cigars, uh, causes all that residue and gives you very black lips. I care. <laughs> I had very black lips for a long time, and then I wonder why people knew I smoked weed back then. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm dark skinned, my lips were super black. Okay. So, um, smoking marijuana is really about the energy, you guys. It's just the energy that, that is carried onto marijuana. Many people smoke weed still. I would say if you choose to smoke, just 
be an occasional smoker, smoker and stay tuned in into your body and making sure you're staying tuned in how you actually feel and see how marijuana makes you feel, okay? It came up in my meditation to quit, so it's all a part of really who you are personally. So if you are someone who feels that you need to stop smoking so much or you need to stop smoking, period, if you've been getting um, the signs that you need to stop, I would definitely say stop if you've been getting those signs because you're getting those signs for a reason because you are probably someone who doesn't even really uh, resonate with weed. It's just the, uh, the fake, you know, the old you, the part of you that was programmed in this matrix that used marijuana to basically escape. You wanted to escape because you knew you didn't belong here. You felt like you didn't belong here. So marijuana helped you escape, helped you block out a lot of problems. That's another thing. Marijuana, just like, it's like a closet, right? So imagine you guys, y'all know I like this little scenario. So imagine you have a closet and uh, every time a problem comes up in your mind, you roll up a blunt and you just shift that problem right in that closet. And over time it builds up and then one day you got to face it. I feel that a lot, of my, a lot of what I went through for a long time was because I kept smoking so much weed, suppressing every day, not giving a damn. I lost a lot of things smoking weed because it became a habit. See, that's the thing, people abuse marijuana. You know what I'm saying? She is a plant and she's not a, I wouldn't say she's just bad. It's just how people are uh, adding these chemicals to it and how people are abusing her and then become, their bodies become dependent on something. You don't ever want to be dependent on anything. You don't ever want to be addicted to anything. But marijuana is one of those things that many people abuse. Honestly, if you are smoking marijuana all the time, it's not even working for you anymore. You just think that it is. But in all reality, it's really not even working for you anymore because you've already abused it. You may feel like you get it high because it's all in your mind. Your mind <laughs> may make you think that you are actually still getting high. You may actually feel like that you actually need to have marijuana in your life. But in all actual, actual reality, you really don't. It's just something that you um, made a habit. You know what I'm saying? You made a habit of this. So this is why you consistently keep smoking you know what i'm saying like your body feels like that it needs to have marijuana like i'm telling you the withdrawals for marijuana are are very uncomfortable so many people who try to quit i would definitely say take your time with it and stay tuned to the end of this video because i'm going to give you a prayer that i use that helped me disconnect the cords to marijuana to my energy field so stay tuned to the end of this video but many people the most things people struggle with when they first stop smoking marijuana is um they can't sleep uh they have lack of appetite you don't you're not hungry anymore which shows you how much marijuana makes you eat you're not hungry anymore so you don't have an appetite oh man one of the worst is the the hot cold sweats you guys you experience many hot cold sweats at night it is very uncomfortable okay and then you don't know your personality marijuana actually creates a personality for you real talk I thought that I knew myself, but it was only a personality that I was creating through marijuana. So when I gave up marijuana, I didn't even know how to be anymore. I didn't even know what to do. I didn't even know how to have fun because I smoked weed for a while. Uh, pay bills. I smoke weed for I went places. I smoke weed for I ate. I smoke weed for I uh, went to bed. I smoke weed before any family functions. I smoke weed before I went anywhere. Everywhere you would find me high, straight up high in a zone, bro. And uh, so high to where I laugh because I'm like, bro, I kind of look <laughs> kind of dumb at times, slurred up and spaced out like you really not even having your human experience baby and um i really started also realizing how why i was experiencing so i actually experienced some psychosis as well with smoking marijuana so i you know me i could go on and on about things so uh i want to give you some more things about marijuana that maybe why you have to stop smoking it. You know what I'm saying? It's tough because you became addicted to it. Your body becomes dependent on it. Anything that your body becomes addicted to and dependent on, it's, it becomes hard to detach. Like anything else, letting go actually works like this. You have to let go of the outcome and the attachment so that you can release it. And it's something that you really got to want to let go of. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I see all the time many spiritual people who smoke weed. And that's why I'm saying that if this resonates with you, then 
this video is for you, you guys, because I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that people really abuse it, and I'm saying that it depends on where you want to go. If you want to be here on 5D, baby, then you really you have to be mindful of that. And if you are getting the signs, again, like I said, you may want to put the weed down. You feel me? Uh, on top of that, smoking weed in certain areas, you know, if you're a chosen one, the Matrix always watching you. So if you're smoking weed and riding and you know, and doing that type of stuff, you got to watch out because you already know they watching you. You know what I'm saying? It's not even worth giving them that. You feel me? And then also, I think with marijuana, you know, I thought that it was spiritual. You feel me? I love Bob Marley. Many people do, you know, so <laughs> you watch Bob Marley and you like, okay, you know what I'm saying? But he lived in a different era. You feel me? This is a new time here. But uh, smoking marijuana also, um, like you, you don't, you like, it helped me in the beginning with like meditating. And so if you have someone who meditates and you're smoking, it's going to be challenging at first. But you know the power and the beauty is that you break through that. You break through that and you realize the power of your own mind and your own self and how you can actually meditate without anything, any substances, just some candles, baby, and some peace and quiet. You can meditate. I would advise you to actually use uh, high vibrational frequency music at first, especially if you were a smoker. Another thing I want to tell you, many people who just stop smoking like that, which is what I did. I literally had bought some a lot and I, I shit, I just, I sold it. I got, I mean, I didn't sell it, but I just got rid of it, bro. I just got rid of it. I just took it out of my house and just got rid of it because I couldn't help it because once you start becoming woke, like me, I started experiencing heavily psychosis. I started feeling like, I started looking through the windows like this. For real, real talk, I started looking at my, at my windows like that. I, I kind of felt like people was after me and stuff. So that's what happened to me when I started waking up. So I had to get rid of it because I'm not going to be living like that. I started feeling like a crackhead, no disrespect or nothing. But I did start feeling like a crackhead. So I really had to let that stuff go. I would definitely advise you, people who just stop, it finds it very more challenging. Like I said, I'm just one of those people who did that. Even with me, that just stopped. But for you, I would definitely say slowly wing yourself off. And start adding in things to keep your mind busy. To keep yourself busy so that you don't think about, oh, I want to smoke. Especially if you're someone who smoke with everything you do. Every time you think you look around, you you light up a blunt. You'll even start to realize that if you stop smoking, you're going to lose a lot of friends. Those people that you smoke with. Because they're going to think you crazy. They probably don't want to put their weed down unless you got people who want to stop smoking as well, you guys. So... <laughs> a lot of things are attached to marijuana more than you know you know what i'm saying your mind i'm gonna tell you this i smoked for over 14 years so every time i pass by a store my mind would know oh get a cigar or if i saw uh, the person i would get it from it would be like, hey carl get get some get some you know what i'm saying and your mind's always going to try to take you back to lighten up that blunt real talk it's going to try to you just have to not listen to it because that's all it knows because that's what you gave it so that's what you taught yourself to smoke you taught your mind to smoke weed so now it's going to keep doing it it takes time for your mind to stop uh showing you to go smoke a blunt you feel me on top of that you guys you save a lot of money when i stop smoking weed you know what it is you buy the weed you buy the gauze bro and then if you a smoker you smoke daily you know what I'm saying? sometimes i smoke over 10 blunts a day you know what i'm saying that stress bro i try to relieve that shit <laughs> skate you know what i'm saying so sometimes i would literally smoke 10 blunts a day and then you know what i'm saying my significant other was a smoker as well so you know how much money you're spending on marijuana so when i actually stopped smoking weed i actually bought a new car <laughs> you start to realize how much money you save because it's another damn bill you feel me and uh look at that yellow butterfly i don't know if you guys can see it oh my god where did it go you know new beginnings baby fresh start it's a little baby yellow butterfly i'm over here trying to find it but it's flying pretty quick <laughs> but everybody loves mary jane you feel me i did too you guys and like i say this is for those who who want this who are ready for this i'm gonna tell you people are gonna argue with this video because they're gonna feel like weed is helpful to them but it is but have you ever tried to go without it have you ever tried to stop have you ever tried to see what it feels like to not be high to actually be present you feel me i think that it could very much distract you from like kind of connecting with your higher self and uh like i said the psychosis gets real especially when you start like meditating and, and you high like it's very uncomfortable you might start seeing shit or thank you seeing shit or like i know i kept opening my eyes like this i meditated like this because i kept i was the only one at home and i kept feeling like somebody was there i kept doing this bro i couldn't really keep my eyes closed and I, that was definitely a part of that once i actually 
quit and I got it out of my system and started breaking free from it, things begin to change in my life. You feel me? Um, it does make you look old uh, around your eyes. You start to look old. Your lips are black. You feel me? You uh, you feel lazy and rugged all the time. You you actually get energy. If you know everything is energy, then you would know how important that it is to have a high vibration. Especially now, you know how important it is if you have a very high vibration. So think of all the good things. Think of the positivity if you was to put it down. What you could do. Think about the goals you can actually meet instead of like. <laughs> I want to tell y'all this. Instead of like me, right? I, I would set a goal. And I would never meet the goal. I would never meet the goal because I was ah, I, 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 oh, I was motivated. I hit the blunt. Shit, I wasn't motivated no more. I wasn't motivated no more when I hit that blunt, y'all. I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. And you keep pushing this your, your goals off. You keep pushing stuff off over and over again. You'll keep saying, I'll do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow turns to next week. The next week turns to next month. The next month turns to a year. <laughs> Six months. Then it turns to a year. Then it turns to two years. And you never actually accomplish your goals. <laughs> you never actually get things done. So that's another thing. If you want to be successful, you really have to put in a lot of focus on yourself and, um, have motivation and like i said marijuana really does suppress a lot of things so yeah you you got to be very mindful with it with uh smoking marijuana you guys this is actually something that many people probably struggle with today but it's actually something that can really transform and change your life you can't knock it till you try it and i know one thing i want to tell you before i end this video like me when I saw <laughs> that I had to stop smoking marijuana because I wanted to raise my vibration and frequency, honestly, I got pretty sad. I was pretty sad and pretty down because I didn't know what to do without marijuana. I was somebody who thought I was going to smoke my whole life, you guys. I really thought that. But I'm telling you, now that I have quit, it has definitely changed my life in so many ways, more than one. I'm grateful that I've done it. I've been without it for two years now. Never relapsed, never went back, and I don't miss it. I feel so good. I feel young on top of that. You can breathe again. Breath is everything. Life is everything. See, people, as humans, we take a lot of things for granted. Being able to breathe is a miracle. It's a miracle from God. Like He, he, he gives us our breath, and he gives us our last breath as well. So it, I used to have a really shortness of breath. And I, um, I, I wouldn't work out and working out is, it is very good for you, especially as you start to age, you exercise and walking is very good for you. I went down with none of that cause I'd rather smoke a blunt. So yes, I mean, it's so many downfalls to marijuana more than, you know, you just, people will say, no, it does this. It helps me with this. It does this because they don't want to quit. They don't want to hear the truth. But if you do want to hear the truth, man, just know that I am a, I am definitely a living witness. I, I smoked. I loved it. And that's why I'm telling you so many things I experienced and so many things I experienced after I quit. And uh, I'll never smoke again. You feel me? I really would learn how to deal with my feelings. I really learned to learn what I love. And I really learned to um, work on myself, motivate myself and get goals that accomplished. I've never accomplished anything. I've never I've always given up. You know what I'm saying? And I always procrastinated. It makes you procrastinate. Real talk. You will procrastinate. You feel me? And um, yes, yeah, so now I want to tell you, I could keep going on and on, but I'm not going to just <laughs> hold you all day with this, you guys. But now I want to tell you this. This is a prayer that I heard, I found from, I think it was um, Melanie Beckler, Archangels, something like that. I think it's her channel. She's amazing. She's very amazing. And I have found, uh, there's many people you'll see that they'll, they'll, they used to make videos about marijuana, but it was a while back. So I'm not the only one. There's people who know, you know, the same thing I know, it has energy on it. But Melanie Beckner, she she had a prayer how to cut the cords to marijuana and uh, free yourself. And so I actually <laughs> was very desperate to try anything to get rid of marijuana. You know what I'm saying? I want you to, tell, before I go into that prayer, I want to tell you this. Make sure that you have in your mind that you can do this, okay? Just be easy with yourself and take your time with it. You feel me? If you happen to relapse, it's okay. Just keep trying to wean yourself off of this, okay? Uh, whatever works for you. But she told me the prayer, and the prayer was, uh, I asked, I set the intention, I connect to Archangel Michael and Ar Archangel Raphael. I said, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, please cut the cords to marijuana and release it from my energy field. And honestly, I believe that's really what helps because honestly, after the sip, like the withdrawals, you know what I'm saying, went away, the, the headaches, the cold sweats, the non-appetites, <laughs> the, oh, the moody, the moody, you be very moody, the irritability, the feeling lost because now you actually 
present. You're looking at stuff now for what it is. You're having to feel stuff that you've been suppressing. You've been having to deal with stuff that you ain't never have to deal with. If you got kids, now you got to really deal with your kids. You can't block them out no more. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy, you guys. So I really believe that saying this prayer really helped me because pretty quick, I was I was over it. It's just getting, just making the decision. Commit to quitting and then and stick to it. Commit and stick to it. Use this prayer, commit and stick to it and you will be okay. It will work out for you, you guys. It really will. But I'm not going to tell you that it's easy cuz many people struggle with it. You know, many people told me, "How did you do that shit? How did you do it?" You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now how I did it. Again, the prayer is Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, please cut the cords to marijuana and release it from my energy field. Remember guys, everything is energy, you guys. I love you. I hope this video was very helpful to you guys. If you like videos like this, smash that like button, baby. And uh, I love all of you who are here on my channel supporting me, baby, if I, as I'm spreading awareness, the love and light and just telling my truth and my stories and guiding you guys, baby. I am the light, baby. I'm just a guide. You feel me? You're the star, baby. You're the star. <laughs> I love you guys so much. For real, share this video to anyone you feel that needs to watch this video. Comment down below. Feel free to comment down below. You feel me? Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, but you are finding messages here on my channel, smash that like button and that bell so you get all my newest videos that I drop. Check out the videos on the Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually Foundation, baby, on my channel, baby. We growing. Hit that like button if you like the videos that you watch so that YouTube can share these videos as we are growing the channel and connecting to more chosen ones, star seeds, light workers, empaths, baby. I love y'all so much, man. I hope this video is very helpful to you. You can do this. You just, you just, you know, created a, a habit which created an addiction. You feel me? You just create an addiction to marijuana and uh, you just have to kind of see yourself and your life without it if you're someone who don't want to smoke anymore and again if you're someone who just wanted an occasional smoker hey that's your business too you feel me um i love y'all man miss kelly travel spiritually checking out